A few days ago, I played golf with Titleist's latest golf ball to the market, the Pro V1X Left Dash. And you guys all said, James, how does it compare to the standard Pro V1X? Does it compare to the standard Pro V1X? How does it feel compared to the standard Pro V1X? So let's do it. And let's do it now. James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I'd like to welcome you to the channel if you're new to the channel. If you are new to the channel, then make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button below and make sure you also ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great golf related content. I bring to you guys 365 days a year. Give us a like if you do enjoy this video and now let's get straight back to it, comparing the standard Pro V1X to its newer, younger brother, the Pro V1X Left Dash. So guys, if you do want to see a little bit of a more in-depth kind of talk about the Pro V1X Left Dash, how it came about, why it came about, what it's supposed to do, what it's designed to do, make sure you check out the video where I take on Pete, who brought me these golf balls to try out. Massive thanks again for that, Pete. Also guys, I did a giveaway for a sleeve of these, so that is on my community tab. Now, um, on the back of the box, it basically says, Pro V1X left dash. As you can see here, Pro V1X on the left, Pro V1X left dash on the right. Feel soft Pro V1X, firmer with Pro V1X left dash. Flight high with Pro V1X, lower with Pro V1X left dash. Iron spin, lower iron spin with the left dash. Short game spin, lower with the left dash. So basically the Pro V1X golf balls are designed for players seeking a higher flight, similar to Pro V1X with dramatically lower full spin and firmer feel. That is of course the left dash. Pro V1X left dash is a Titleist customized performance option designed to fit players with very unique launch characteristics. Well I've got very unique launch characteristics. Four left! They don't really get as unique as my launch characteristics on certain days. So basically this golf ball was a little bit and I have to say we're hitting at the moment the standard Pro V1X and what we're going to do is test the standard Pro V1X against the Pro V1X left dash with pitching wedge 7 iron and driver and just see exactly how much difference is there. Is there a big difference? Is there a huge difference? Should you be gaming this ball? Should I be gaming this ball? We've even gone to the extreme lengths for the fairness of the test where we're using the same number. Um, that was by chance but it works for the video anyway. And the real interesting thing for me is on the box it says nothing about the driver. It doesn't say longer drives, it doesn't say lower driver spin, it doesn't say bomb it past your mates. It just, it just kind of focuses on like iron spin. So I am a pretty low spin player, especially with irons anyway. So I'm assuming that this ball isn't necessarily going to suit me, or should I say the left dash ball. We're going to hit a handful of shots with each ball and each club. And just see exactly what the difference is. They are like the red arrows today. Right, seven iron with the left dash and immediately you get that different sound, you get that clickier sound, which when I first hit it, I didn't particularly like it, but then actually I got used to it. And I have used these a little bit more since the video was filmed. But I must say, I kind of liked it. I kind of don't mind that kind of harder feel. I keep saying kind of, I didn't kind of like it. I did like it. Right, Pro V1X left dash, seven iron. That felt hard. Oh, yes please. And it, I found it really interesting talking to Pete about these golf balls, because Pete was, I think, an eight handicap. Pete, I'm really sorry if I've got that wrong. But you are, oh yeah, you said a struggling eight handicap or a nine handicap. And for me, how good do you have to be to see a difference in a golf ball? How, how pure a ball striking, how the word is consistent, isn't it? How consistent do you have to be to see that huge difference? I'm worried that, to be honest, I'm going to stand here, I'm going to hit dozens of shots, we're going to watch the video, we're all going to have a good time together. You're going to hit that like button anyway. You're probably going to hit a few comments below, we're going to discuss things together. And at the end of it, we're going to see no difference because I may be not good enough to see that difference which is potentially why they haven't marketed this ball like they could have done, like they do with the Pro V1X, like they do with the Pro V1 or even the AVX. Maybe. Might be wrong, but who knows. Lovely. Right, let's hit some pitching wedges. And we're gonna go, we're gonna stay in the left dash to start with. Pitching wedge, where are you? There. And you see, for me, this is really interesting, because once again, looking at the box, it, that's, that's caught me every single time. Let's have that the right way around, and then we're okay. So on the box, it says short game spin lower. So who really wants lower short game spin? 
everyone wants to see it kind of razz back a little bit, don't they? And harder feel. When I think short game, I think softer feel. Um, anyway, you see on the back of the box as well, there is a bit of a demonstration about the ball. It's got spherically tiled 328 tetra, tetrahedral, tachy, tetrahedral dimple design. Um, it's, it's got some dimples on it. It also has a firm cast urethane elastoma cover system and an isomeric casing layer which increases ball speed and lowers long game spin. So maybe we will see some low spin drives. Anyway, for now, pitching wedge, still left dash, come on, around 135 yards. Oof. There we go. It is, ooh, we've got backspin as well. It is definitely the firmest feeling golf ball I've ever played with. So if you do want a firm feeling golf ball, if you want it to feel a bit kind of clicky, clicky, then it could well be the ball for you, but make sure that you don't just go and get these and buy them and use them for the sake of it because you think that you need low spin. If you feel like you need low spin, if you feel like you're gonna benefit from that, go and try them on a launch monitor, go and try them with a PJ Pro, go and get a golf ball fit in because we all spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on getting fitted for the right golf bag. Well, not the golf bag, but the clubs go in it. Golf ball, so many people just use what they find and it, it amazes me really, it does. Right. Um, I think we might take that one out. All right. Come on, James, what was that? Time for the standard Pro V1 with the pitching wedge. And I do kind of feel at home using the standard Pro V1X because I did use it before I started kind of using the TP5X, the picks. So I am used to that firmer feeling golf ball, which for me maybe does stand me in good stead if I was to make a switch in the golf ball department. I'll let you think about that one for a second. Right, come on, a couple of nice pitching wedge swings, then we can have some fun and whale driver around for a few minutes. Feel-wise, I totally, I can't, I can't compare. We, we could almost have a bit of a game on how many times I say that the Pro V1X left dash feels firm or feels hard or feels clicky. The Pro V1X feels soft in equivalent to it, and that's, I mean, that's a big shout, isn't it? A Pro V1X feeling soft. Higher trajectory as well. Definitely, definitely, definitely higher trajectory with the standard Pro V1X. I mean, it helps when you don't shank it, doesn't it? But anyway, anyway. Okay, three pretty good swings there with the pitching wedge. Now it is time for some fun. Go on guys, comment four left before we even start. We might as well. We might as well. So I'm going to stick with the standard Pro V1X to start with. We're going to hit a bunch of drives, uh, hopefully straight, hopefully long, hopefully, hopefully we don't injure ourselves. There's always that, isn't there? Let's see what the big difference is. Oh yes, please. Enjoyed that one. Playing later on with Tom, funnily enough. Tom's a plus one handicap. I'm going to have to take my A game. So I'm kind of treating this video as a bit of a warm up for that as well. So two nine spin, that's not bad at all. There she is, forward. Sorry boys. Sorry. <sighs> At least we shouted. Gave him a chance to get out of the way. Decent numbers again though. Decent numbers. Try and take positives I suppose, won't we? Right, come on. That's another one, that's another. Right, so it is time for Pro V1X left dash with the dr that was close, with the driver. And I'm going to be interested to see these results because I feel like, don't get me wrong, the, the dispersion hasn't been very good today. Feeling a few things on the swing, working on a few things. Either that or it's just been totally rubbish. But the strikes have been good and that's what I'm measuring. I'm measuring the strike. I'm measuring, it feels it's been as consistent as possibly it could have been. I've ripped that. I've absolutely ripped that. Well, they're finding the fairway, these ones as well, which is always nice. Right, last shot of the test. Guys, hit those comments below. What do you think the difference is? Are you gonna try this ball? Are you gonna slide by it? Not even think about it, not even test it? Are you just gonna try it and see what it's like? Are you gonna game it? What am I gonna do? Ooh. 
Right, that's plenty of shots hit. I'll tell you what, it's plenty of shots hit as well. With seven iron, pitching wedge and driver, Pro V1X left dash. Is there any difference? Let's take a look. Right guys, so I can only apologise for some of these dispersions. Obviously that's nothing to do with the ball whatsoever and we are going to discount that one for the numbers. But one thing I've noticed massively is the left dash is definitely, so that's the pitching wedge there, the left dash is definitely lower, definitely lower than the standard Pro V1X. Drivers, again it's driver, left dash, in fact the left dash went a bit higher with driver there. I mean you could say, I mean, we will say they're left, but again, uh, pretty consistent strikes. Seven iron left dash, again one kind of big road, one to the right, but it was struck okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, anyway, anyway. Standard is definitely going a bit higher, isn't it? What about the numbers? Driver, left dash, 277, 278 total. Spinning at 25, so left dash spinning 300 RPM lower. Because you see the standard Pro V1X there is at 28, and that is 274, 276, which, is, which are my numbers. They are absolutely my numbers. 79 left dash, 167, as opposed to 164. Uh, and the spin there, 5085 as opposed to 5600. So again, it's doing what it says on the tin. The 7 iron with the left dash is spinning lower. Pitching wedge standard, 35 as opposed to 34. Very, very, very similar. All very similar numbers. Uh, spinning 8000 for the standard as opposed to 78 with the left dash. So really, is there a big difference between the Titleist Pro V1X and the Titleist Pro V1X left dash? Um, well, no. But is there a difference? Yeah. Is it doing exactly what it says it's gonna do on the box? Yeah. So if you're looking for that firmer feeling golf ball, which I can guarantee you it is, if you're looking for that lower spinning golf ball, which we've confirmed it potentially is, um, then try the left dash. I think I'm very, very surprised that, first I'm surprised it's come to market. I'm surprised that Titleist have kind of said that, pro, that pros have been using different balls and things like that, because that does seem like an odd one to me. Obviously there's the left dash, they've had Pro V1 Next Star, Pro V1 Unicorn, whatever, left dot, all different, all different balls. But, <sighs> Am I disappointed? Because I had in my head that I was going to do this test, I was going to hit both these golf balls with different clubs, and there was going to be no difference. There was going to be nothing in it. The title of the video was, I'm very, very disappointed. And then you'd all think, oh, is he disappointed in the ball? But I'd have been disappointed in myself because I'm not good enough to see a difference in the ball. It turns out, although the, let's just not worry about the dispersion today. I've got a feeling Tom might beat me later. Um, there is a difference. There is a difference and there's a, diff a fairly notable difference in those spin rates as well. So if you are looking, funnily enough, I don't need a lower spin ball really with irons. I think with driver, lower spin like everyone is probably gonna be better, or most people should I say, not everyone. But for me, the low, they're probably not spinning enough in the mid irons. For me, I need my mid irons to be spinning a little bit more. That's probably down to technique, that's something I can work on myself. But um, yeah, Pro V1X left dash, is there a difference? Yes. Uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have enjoyed it, just leave us a like. That way more people might see this video. Comment below what do you think about them. Uh, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I've kind of lost track now, but I'm just, I'm comprehending, I'm taking all those numbers in. Might go and play with this again now. See you tomorrow.